A very quick explanation about artboards is it's like a canvas or like a piece of paper. So sometimes you will have projects that you want to design in the same document with maybe a very similar layout, but you want to create them in different sizes. Examples of this is usually things like banner ads, or in this case, you may have different page size. I'm going to create a document here with a letter size, and I would click create artboard here and create it. What on the screen here now is there is an artboard and you can tell right on top here and all this other area is gray. So anything that I design, all my designs will actually go in this area inside the artboard. The nice thing about using artboards is everything is cropped to the exact size of the artboard. For example, if I make a, this a rectangle and let's say I fill it with a gradient type radial, or it could be a bitmap, like an image or whatever. And I make this right here and I change the design a little bit. Maybe I change the colors. For example, this here, starting color, I may want it that. And ending color, I may want it that. Okay. And then I move this over here. And I'm going to go ahead and add the whole size. Now, when you're using an artboard, this content in here is automatically going to be cropped off at the edges of the artboard. So if I make this larger like that, you see it crops off. And actually the best way for me to show you is really through an image. Let me see if I place an image here. Okay, great. Let me just put a banner here from my, for one of my products. And you can see very clearly it's cropped off. When you export this image, it's going to crop off at exactly the size of the artboard. So that's one of the biggest reasons I use, I like to use artboard. Now you can also change the name of the artboard here by uh, just clicking it or double clicking it. And over here at the layers, you will see the artboard layer. It's like a group and you can just change the name here. Let's say I want to create another size. I'm going to click on this little artboard tool here. Now you can go ahead and select drag like that. And then you can basically change the dimensions to the correct size that you want. For example, maybe I want to do a six by nine. I am going to redesign this artboard style. Or I can also enter it in the transform here. So I want it to be six by nine. And I'm going to hit enter. Okay. My artboard is created. And now I'm going to rename this artboard just for my own organizational purposes, I'm going to rename this six, nine, so that's S. Now I can go ahead and do my new design here to make things easier for me. I can just simply also copy and paste it into here. And as you can see it, even though the image is larger, but it cropped everything off to the right size. This sometimes makes it very easy to. Like if you want to copy and paste a design, especially if they are both rectangle, you can create different pages of the same design and crop it into different sizes really quickly. And that's exactly how you use artboards in Affinity Designer. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you next time.